How's it going everyone? Cody Bernardi here with another YouTube video and in today's video we are going to be doing some OSINT on everyone's favorite musical talent. Uh, he is probably one of the best composers the world has ever seen in the modern age. Ladies and gentlemen, we are speaking of none other, none other than Takashi69. Uh, so we are going to be doing some OSINT on this particular photo right here. We're going to be demonstrating some things in OpenStreetMap, Overpass Turbo, and the Bellingcat tool that is actually an, uh, a, an addition to OpenStreetMap. Um, so we're going to be talking about all of that today. Now, before I get in the video, a couple things. A, yes, I'm going to be at DEF CON. I will have mics and such with me. So if you are watching this video and you are going to be at DEF CON, uh, and you want to talk with me, uh, I will have a press badge and we can chat. I, I have nothing to talk about. Uh, literally anyone can come up to me and chat with me. And if you mention this video and you come up and, uh, and chat with me, um, I'll get you a drink. Or if you're sober, I'll get you w literally whatever you want. Uh, you know, that's reasonable. I'm not going to fucking... What? I said, I'm, you... A, you always interrupt me in videos. B, I said anything reasonable. Anything reasonable. Sorry, the uh, MVO winner that found a missing child last year screamed at me. Uh, so anything reasonable. If, if you wanted a beer, I'll get you a beer. If you wanted uh, anything under like 15 bucks, you know, something casual. Anyways, so with that, um, another thing to note, I do have a new Discord link. Uh, I created my Discord uh, server as a community and the links kind of all got screwed up somehow. So if you're watching this video, I have an updated link down in the description. So anyways, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at Mr. Takashi69 here. Now, from an OSINT investigator's perspective, this is a... I mean, this is like a walk in the park as far as like finding where this particular photo is, but I'm just going to go through the steps and just talk about some tools you could use if there was something that is not as obvious as this. Um, <clears throat> so let's talk about uh, OpenStreetMap. So OpenStreetMap is kind of like Google Earth in the fact that it's a mapping software. Um, the thing that makes us different than things like Bing Maps and Google Maps is that it's open source, meaning that Things like this right here, this is what? A bus line or a primary road. So it has a primary road right here, it has a pedestrian area, has a sidewalk. It, I mean, it has like little things that you can tag on a map that I will show you could be very interesting when it comes to doing investigations. Um, so it is open source. So take it with a grain of salt as far as how accurate some of this information could be. Um, but just know that OpenStreetMap is available for people to edit and all that, and I'll show you how you can use it in an investigation. So with OpenStreetMap, I mean, you got all of this, great, but how do I index it? How do I search it? How do I get information out of it? There's this lovely tool out there called Overpass Turbo, which will basically take all of this tagging information in OpenStreetMap. So if I was to click on, you know, this polling place, temporary polling place, you can see it has all of these different uh, things in here. Not only does it have a feature type of temporary polling place, but it has operator, reference code, name. Like, there's so much information here. Like, we could click on this, like, bike rack. Capacity of 10 bikes. Operator unknown. But, like, if you knew it and you walked past it, you can change it. Um, I personally did, like, a FOIA request uh to my city to get all of the fire hydrant locations and I updated it into OpenStreetMap and yeah now like all the fire hydrant locations are available on OpenStreetMap it's really cool so overpass turbo basically will allow you to query all of this information that is available in OpenStreetMap and not only can you query that but you can make connections and correlate things together so let's say you're doing um you know a trace lab CTF and you have like a photo of a missing person. Well, in the background, you could see that they're in like a, a, in a city park. And then next to the city park, you see a gas station, a Target, and like a deli store. Well, you could query in Overpass Turbo 
exactly that. You could say, show me all of the places that have a park that are within 100 meters of a, you know, gas station and a, a deli or whatever. And it will put little dots on the map that match exactly what you say uh, or put into it. Uh, the, the, the problem with Overpass Turbo is the learning curve for their query language is, I mean, it is like a quadruple black diamond if you catch my drift. But once you get to the top, it, it pretty much flattens out. Um, I personally do not have a use to try to even begin to attempt to learn the query language of Overpass Turbo. If you're a Fed, a Glowy, uh, and you do investigations all the time, this might be something that you should look into, you know, maybe studying and getting good at. But for me personally, like I don't do OSINT full time. I just do it as a hobby. Um, you know, the, the, the reward of me trying to figure out how to use Overpass Turbo efficiently and effectively is probably not worth my time. Uh, they do have a wizard tool up here where it's like, um, you know, I'll put seven eleven. So I'll put like seven eleven, and then I'll like build query and I'll like try to guess what you're trying to look for. So like node brand Wikidata amenity fuel fuel fuel, which is weird because like seven eleven has fuel stations, but I'm not looking for seven elevens that only have a fuel station. And what it will do is it will search within your bound box or the B box, as it says. So you can see right here, we have what, two, three places that are 7-Eleven that have a gas station at it. And what you could do is you could correlate things. But anyways, uh, Overpass Turbo is really complicated trying to learn it. That is where the lovely folks over at Bellingcat made this tool available to us. And it is a graphical user interface of what Overpass Turbo is. So we are going to attempt to use it uh, to find Mr. Takashi69, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I don't know if I can actually do it with Overpass Turbo or at least this, uh, you know, tool, because again, like it's reliant on open source information or open source contributions to OpenStreetMap. But if I can't find it, I'll show you how you can use Garth uh, to actually effectively find it pretty quickly. Find where 69 is at. Okay, so if we analyze this photo a little bit more, we can see that he is in a multi-story building, obviously. Uh, the surrounding area of 69 is, uh, you know, kind of a different zoning than what downtown Manhattan looks like. You could obviously make the difference between the sizes of the buildings. So we have that. We see in the bottom right hand portion of this photograph that we have a bike lane. We have some like parking, but it seems to be more oriented towards uh, pedestrians. <clears throat> we have that kind of center sidewalk area. We have a crosswalk right there, stoplights, and then multiples of other buildings in the area that are between, I would say, five to ten stories. Um, now, this is another thing that's a problem with OpenStreetMap is that there is no standardization as far as how you measure buildings. They have floors as an option and they have height and meters as an option. So uh, keep that in mind. That's a little tidbit right there for you. So like if you're trying to find buildings and you're searching by floors, maybe try height and meters. And I believe floor like floors and buildings are a standard size. I don't know what the meter length is, probably two and a half, maybe three and a half. I don't know. Um, but just use that. Uh, so we have all these other buildings and then things to note in the background that could be identifier points. Obviously we have this very tall building right here, which I know what it is, but if you don't know what it is, I'll show you how you could do that. We have this weird looking shaped building right there. And then we have this brick structure right there and they're all kind of on a slope. So we have the tall building, the second building and the third building. So let's say that you don't know what New York City is. Uh, you know, that's kind of strange if you don't, but if you don't, uh, go ahead and click Control Shift S if you are on a, uh, a Windows computer and go ahead and screenshot that particular building and then go ahead and hit download. And I tried to make this video multiple times today, so that's why that was there. Go ahead and go into uh, Google Images and throw that image in there and voila, you have 
the building. It even says One World Trade Center at the very top right there. So we know exactly what this is. So we know where to look on planet Earth and we can kind of work from there. So if you were like, you know, just browsing G Maps, you can go and find where the One World Trade Center is, which is right here. And you can kind of position yourself to the direction that you think Mr. 69 is at. Uh, you can obviously see that we have Central Park in this direction, and you can see the zoning right there kind of flattens out. So one, th a few things to note is he is not on this side of the Hudson, uh, mainly because, well, if you look at the photo, the Hudson does not go right through him. You can see that the uh, One World Trade Center is uh, behind Mr. 69, so he's not on this side of the Hudson. So he's in this direction, somewhere in this direction. So we won't get into that until a little bit later. So let's go here, analyze the photo. We see that he's like on a nine story building. Now keep in mind, like I said, it could be based on the actual height of the building and not the story. So what you could do is use their uh, presets. So we'll do five to nine stories. Uh, we could see that there's a sidewalk, a pedestrian path nearby. Um, <clears throat> and there's like a road. We have a residential or prime. It's, I wouldn't say this is a primary road in New York City, I'd say that's like a residential road. So the next thing is the uh, maximum distance between these features. So notice it says maximum, not minimum. So in this case, all of this information that I just punched into here is really close together. I mean, if you were to draw a circle around all of this, that circle I would say would be about 20 meters. So let's go ahead and pull this all the way down to 20 meters. Now, I can tell you we're probably not going to get any results for a few reasons, but we will use custom fields in this to get exactly what we are looking to get. So, oh God, I can see that I'm already spiking in this video. That's so annoying. I, I This is why I've been trying to make this video multiple times because it's just, it's been spiking. So I'm so sorry if the audio on this sounds atrocious. So anyways, let's go down here and... We'll go on the bound box of 20 meters and I will zoom in to the kind of the area that I think he's in and I will hit search. And if it takes a while, it means there's a lot of results. So we got one result. So that means we can kind of expand out a little bit, hit search again. 73 results, got a lot to go through. Um, now things that have a, uh, like a, an association with them. So like a building or a hotel or anything like that, it will show it at the top. But in this case, we have a bunch of coordinates. Uh, and if you had like an OSINT team, um, you know, you're working for a law enforcement agency or whatever, like you could probably divvy this up. But in this case, since it's New York City, it's, it's not hard to find out where Mr. 69 is at. But let's go ahead and just, let's just go ahead and, play with this a little bit more. Like I said, the stories of the building aren't always added to the objects in an open street map. So what we will do is make a custom feature. So we will do, uh, you could do any, uh, so we'll just leave it at any OSM key. There's every single thing in here. So buildings, I mean, just everything you could think of. So building equals, and then we will put yes, meaning a building exists. And then we will do add condition and we will do height. And then the height we will do greater than or equal to, and then this will be in meters. So I can't imagine there is any buildings in New York City that are three meters tall, let alone two meters. So we will go ahead and we'll do what, 20 meters? I think that's a fair assumption. Uh, so we are now looking for, um, Sidewalk is not null and sidewalk does not equal no. So that means there is a sidewalk, a pedestrian line because of that kind of, th this looks like another sidewalk right there. Um, highway equals residential and then custom filter with buildings. So again, let's go ahead and zoom back in our uh, boundary box right here. 
and hit search. We may get a ton of results, we may not. I, I couldn't tell you. The longer it takes, the more results you get. That's all I gotta say. So in this case, we're gonna get a lot of results. Which in this case, if you're getting this many results, uh, you more than likely do not need to use OpenStreetMap uh, for your investigation, but it's, it's, it's good to know how to use it. So in this case, I will not continue on with a search because it's just gonna take too long. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pivot away from OpenStreetMap. I could probably make another video on custom features and all that, but I'm in a pinch. I got a flight in DEF CON and a little bit. So let's go ahead and take what we know from this photo. So we see One World Trade Center right there. Let's go ahead and open up uh, Girth real quick. And I will show you how to effectively make a perimeter of a certain object uh, in Girth. So let's go to New York City. We have determined that the uh, One World Trade Center is visible in this photo. And let's go back to the photo and try to use our best judgment to get a distance between the photo and the object in in a in question. So the One World Trade Center, if I was to look at this, I'd say it's between a half mile to two miles away, uh, where Mr. 69 Takashi, the man himself, is at. Um, so let's go ahead and <clears throat> go here, locate One World, and then we're going to go to the measurement tool up here. And from here, you'll click on Circle, and then you could change the radius uh, to whatever measurement standard you want. So if you want to do uh, centimeters you can. I'm going to do miles because I'm American and we are going to click on the very tippy top of the One World Trade Center and drag it out to about one and a half miles. Boom and hit save. So now we have a radius of one and a half miles. We can style this and make the width whatever we want. So we'll just do five. Okay, and now we can start really cooking with gas now. So a couple things to note, like I mentioned, that weird shaped building and this brick building are going to be identifiers of the direction that we're looking at and, and confirmation points. So obviously we can rule out he's not on this side of the island or, or in Jersey City or anything like that. So he is going to be over in this direction somewhere over here now if we get a little lower we can start changing our perspective and find out exactly where he's at again like i said we have the three buildings we have one world trade center we have that fucking weird shaped slop building and then we have the brick building the slop building is right here that the, uh, that one's pretty easy to find on this map and i believe that other building is this one right here. If we confirm that, yep, that is it right there. It's these three buildings. Now, if you look at it, one world's on the left, then that slop fuck is on the middle, and then that brick building is on the right. So wouldn't it make sense for us to have a, you know, a perspective of over here? That just would not make any logical sense. Would not make any sense. You know, one world's on the right, middle left, one world is on the left here. So now we got to change our perspective. So the one world is on the left of the image. Again, this is the, the proper direction that we're looking at. Left, center, right. So we're in this direction. Now we're not going to be right here because we can't even see I mean, if we were to even get at ground level or ground level ish, like you can't even see that building on the right. Can't see that building. Okay. Now this wouldn't be it because like there isn't all of these other buildings, these low rise buildings right there. So you got to scooch out just a hair more. Now this is starting to look a little, a little close to what we're needing. So. Again, you could see these trees right here. The trees are right there. Let's take a look down. 
Let's take a look down. So we have what exactly matches what we are looking at. We have this bike lane, bus only. I don't know if you could see bus only right there. You can kind of make a hint of the red right there. You could see the walkways, the crosswalks and all that right there. If we were to look up and change our perspective a little bit. That's kind of looking close, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see where our line is at. We think he's at, what, a mile and a half? Let's see. Is he at 188 Luxury, Ludlow Luxury? No, because this building is in the way. Mr. Takashi69. You, sir, you are exactly right here. You are exactly right there. Change the perspective. We're, we're up a little bit. Let's get, let's get to right. Let's get at right at 69's eye level. Probably at what? Four, four feet right above the railing or the ground right here. Let's see. Close enough. I'd say that's close enough. And then we can see the identifiers down here. Boom. Boom. Matches right up. <clears throat> and you can even confirm this. If this was like a hotel, you can look at their photos online and all that. <clears throat> so anyways, um, there's a few things that... there There is a few things in this that have shortcomings. You know, you if you're using Overpass Turbo, you're reliant on the open source community to actually keep the maps up to date. Um, <clears throat> and I mean, let's just even see if we can find this particular building on open street maps. So if we were to go back here, so Hotel Indigo is name, Hotel Indigo, 23 nodes. Okay, so it's a hotel. So building equals hotel. Let's just see if we can find this in here. So building, we'll remove this. Any, so we'll do building. So hotel, oh, building equals, hotel doesn't show up, interesting. Apartments, industrial roof, terrace. Um. House number, horse, tags, address, city, building, hotel. So this one doesn't even actually have all of the uh, the proper uh, tags in it because I should be able to go into, <clears throat> uh, we'll do polygon, building equals hotel. Yeah, it doesn't even show up. So anyways, wouldn't be able to find it in there even if I tried, but you can do that. Um, let's see, I'm curious. We found Mr. 69. Let's see, any, let's see, bus building um, shop equals convenience supermarket. Okay, so we got all of these. Tobacco, convenience, add condition, and name okay name equals let's just do safeway why not add custom feature we'll just remove all of these right here and let's just go away from new york city i don't even think safeway exists out that way anyways let's go to washington uh, yeah, let's just do like Seattle or whatever. Hit search. I don't know if this is going to work. Zero results. So, oh, because Safeway is not a convenience store. That's hilarious. Let's try this again. So shop, shop, oops, shop equals supermarket add condition and name equals Safeway. 
add custom feature, hit search, 15. So now we got safe ways, all the safe ways. Now let's add another one. So we'll do shop, shop equals, oh, they don't got strip clubs in here. What? Business, let's see, source, highway, address, name, natural surface, power, building levels, amenity, parking, school. Actually, hold on. School. They don't have strip clubs? They do on OSM. I know that for a fact, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, amenity service. Nope. <laughs> I don't know why I'm hell bent on strip clubs right now. Just give me a sec. Height, access, max speed, wall layer type, type enforcement. Okay. Operator leisure. Ooh, it might be in leisure. Damn it. Got a swerves in here. Fuck. I mean, it is leisure, right? Right? Leisure, bicycle, footway, foot, blah, blah, blah. Nope, nope, no, 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 no. Shop, attribution tunnel. Okay. I'm going to go on OpenStreetMap and find myself a strip club because now I'm like, here it is, strip club. Strip tees and lap dances. So this is going to be amenity equals strip club. Strip clubs can also be referred to nightclubs. Okay. So amenity equals nightclub. I think Bellingcat is just being PG-13 over here. So amenity equals... Strip club's not in there. Nightclub's not in there. What? Oh my God, this is a travesty. Ladies and gentlemen. Maybe it's a clinic. <laughs> okay, I'm going a little too far on this. So anyways, you can do stuff like that. There is like a, a, a wiki page you can read to see all the different things you can search on uh, OpenStreetMap as well as on uh, Overpass Turbo in the Spelling Cat tool. So anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for this video. If you enjoy content like this, please hit the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button with the bell notification enabled so you can get notified anytime I post a new video. Like I said, I'll be at DEF CON in a few hours. If you wanna see me, <clears throat> hit me up on my Discord. The link is in the bio. Again, check out my affiliates. We have Cyber One Intel. If you want to get a digital footprint report on yourself, go ahead and use the link down below, as well as training by Joe Gray and others at the Ascension. If you use the affiliate links down below, helps the channel out. So anyways, that is it for this video. Y'all take care. Goodbye.